What the heck is up you guys, it's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure look and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. For the one hater who's going to say that I'm making this video to show off, I got a comment on my other Batman review of someone asking me how I made this custom. And so I'm going to show that comment just so you guys know I'm not BSing you. But um, at first I was going to be like, hey message me on Instagram, I'll tell you my secret. But, I mean, hey, we're all action figure collectors. Sometimes we just want to mix up some stuff to create that perfect figure for ourselves. And I feel like everyone should know how to do it. And so, I'm going to say, if I can do something like this, you guys definitely can. So, I'm going to go ahead and talk about how I put this guy together. I am not about to show you guys, simply because I don't want to take this thing apart again. Because I know when I try to do something for a video like this... It's going to tear. But um, yes, so we'll go ahead and get right into it. And I'll tell you guys what I did. It's very simple. So this video is going to be pretty cut and dry and also straight to the point. Anytime you want to customize a figure, obviously you're going to have to have all of the parts that you want. Now for me to make this specific figure, I had to have three different Batmans. I had the Supreme Knight, the Supreme Knight Darkest Dawn, and also for the head sculpts and the extra Kryptonite accessory, the Sovereign Knight. And I will show all three of those somewhere on the screen as well. But um, yes, those were the three that I needed. Now, as you guys can see, the base body is actually from the supreme night darkest dawn and that's why it has all of the gray with the kind of texturing to the suit the custom emblem and then even the belt from that figure but everything else from the neck down is actually from the sovereign night not sovereign night the supreme night first released edition that includes the gauntlets the um the little knee pads the uh, these pieces right here, I don't know what you call these, the um, boots, all of that good stuff. And so basically what I did, and I'm going to show both of these off. As you guys can see, I actually turned this guy into a, uh, a blue version. But basically what I did was I'll talk about the gauntlets and the, the pads at the foot first. Basically what I did, and like I said, this is a one shot. So this video will probably have a ton of errors and mess ups, but I'm not editing it out. So um, basically what I did was right around here, I used a blow dryer. I know a lot of people use hot water to heat up their figures and take it apart. I wasn't about to do that with cloth clothing figures. I just wasn't about to. So basically I used a hair dryer. I put it on high and I held it up to this piece for about yeah, maybe 30 seconds. Same thing at the boots. That's literally all I did. And then what I did was don't pull them off. But just kind of wiggle them off. I did it for both of these figures and they went on and came off no problem. Because with that that heated plastic, it makes it a little loose. So it's easier for you to take it off, put it back on, whatever, whatever. And so the belt for this one, for whatever reason, didn't want to come off. But on every one of the Supreme Knight Batman figures, you can actually pull it apart right here. I pulled mine apart and then I just hot glued it back together. And also, same thing for the knee pads. This is what I know a lot of people are going to worry about. Well, yeah, you can take the gauntlets off and the, the boots, but what about the knee pads? So this was what I was afraid of. A lot of customizers actually hit me up when I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do this. And they just told me, man, just pull the knee pads off. You legit can just pull the knee pads off of this guy. No problem. Now, what's going to happen is when you pull the knee pads off, it will actually leave a small hole right here in the fabric. But what you're going to do is when you put the knee pads back on, you just use some super glue. And actually, I'm going to cut it right here to show you guys the super glue that I used to make this work. All right. Now for the super glue, this is what I used. This is what I use for just about everything, except for if I'm like modifying custom head sculpts or something, then I'll use the hot glue method. But this is all I used. I just put a dab of it literally right there in the knee pad. I placed it back on. I held it there for about 30 seconds. And since then, I've had no problems with it. As you guys can see, it's not popping. It's not flopping. Nothing is going on. And that's on either version. They are on there. And you don't need a lot of it. You just put a dab of it on there and it sticks. As you guys can see, 
and um, just make sure that you position them properly therefore they're straight up and down so they're not looking crooked or anything like that but other than that you've got nothing to worry about and then lastly the head that's the easiest part as you guys can see on the um, anything that is of the supreme knight you literally just can pop the neck off and so as you guys can see that's still blue right there so yeah I just pop this on here did that and then I pop the uh, sovereign knight head sculpt on there and this is it that's pretty much how I made my definitive Batman very simple very to the point I think it might have taken me 20 minutes to do um, now the reason I say if I can do this anyone can is because I am someone who's terrified of modifying figures it's to the point to where I will pay for shipping and pay for someone to do things that a lot of times I could have just done myself now this time I don't know I guess I just took a leap of faith um, maybe I realized that it's it's just not something that's extremely difficult it's not like I'm painting a figure or anything like that but um from what I've been told you can do this with just about any Mezco Batman now we all know Mezco is notorious for giving us a bunch of Batman figures but sometimes they're not quite what we want we might want to put the the black cowl on a Batman that's been made blue or the blue cowl on a Batman that's been made black it whichever it doesn't really matter but it's very simple it's very to the point and if you are trying to customize some of the older Batman figures I will say that even on the Sovereign Knight you can pop the cowl right off it's not difficult to do just heat it up a little bit pop it pop it off and then if you want to change the cape you can cut the cape off whatever whatever but at this point I'm pretty much rambling um, it's it's really simple like no joke and I know this video is kind of all over the place it's not structured it's not scripted this is just me talking and uh, it's, it's gone on a little too long but anyway that being said hope you guys enjoy this video if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content Lastly, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and um, go build your own custom Batman. Show me what you guys got. I really want to see some of these mixed up. Um, but yeah, you guys take it easy. Peace.